Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your daily reading for Wednesday. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. As a reminder guys, this is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with every single soul that's out there. So take what resonates, leave the rest, and always utilize your own intuition. If you want something more private and personal, go to the description box below and all of my information is there. Guys, time is fluid, so don't get hung up on like it just being today's energy, even though that I'm calling in today, okay? I'm trying not to specify too much dates on this. Really just pay attention to the titles and how you feel um, while you are listening, okay? So we're gonna get started with some oracle cards and then get into the tarot spread. So, calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages the collective needs to hear today. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know today? What do we have for them, spirit? Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Get grounded. This is this is the need to go within as well. I mean, look at look at how someone's meditating on here. This is about there's something about family roots, about being connected. I'm hearing that some of you are getting over old childhood fears. Some of which is affecting your like your relationships now. Like, I mean, this could be relationships in many things. It's a general reading. But this feels like there's something in your path, your past that is blocking your path. I'm hearing it's blocking your path. It's actually making you go within. You might actually be taking a break from an individual. You might feel a little bit sensitive. What additional messages do we have? Ooh, strength. Leo energy here. Strength. Many of you are feeling insecure, have some weaknesses going on. It's taking you great strength to do this. I'm hearing that, you know, they're showing me the moon here, the moon energy. So I feel for, for many of you, this is about trusting, trusting the universe to have your back. But today feels like the energy of really being grounded and like, you know, I felt this a lot earlier in the week where it was like, just take a break, relax, but it's taking you great strength to do this. I'm hearing it's taking great strength to actually take a break and like be there for yourself. Some of you are having really large issues with a very, um, connected relationship this could be um it feels very family oriented so if this isn't a love relationship this is someone you're extremely connected to that is it's it's not um it's not aligned but there's something here that needs to be cleared spirit is asking you to ask the question of how you were feeling how you were feeling are you are you worried too much about how the other person feels or are you asking how i feel about what's going on about the situation all right, let's see what the tarot cards have to say. What do we have here for the tarot spread? This, collective needs to know. this person you, you were loyal to, there was love here. There still is love here. You're just, you feel really broken. Oof, broken. Three of Swords. Queen of Rods reversed. The Two of Wands could be dealing with the fire sign here, like I had said, or Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Both of those were reversed, by the way. And we have the Chariot reversed. Interesting, interesting. All right, guys. There's definitely heartache feeling today. I don't feel like you want to take any actions. You might be dealing with a fire sign here, okay? Usually the Queen of Rods is somebody who is passionate, driven, loving, I'm hearing that someone's not seeing eye to eye with an individual. It's actually making you look at your future with a two of wands here of where you wanna go, how you wanna proceed. There's choices here, but Spirit's asking you to step back before you make those choices. Don't make rash decisions, I'm hearing. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. She's the mother card. You might be dealing with, you know, 
this could be your own mother, but I'm hearing also the mother of your children too. So there's definitely a couple different messages here. There's somebody who is not happy. Who's um, there's instability here within this relationship? It feels like we have somebody look like she's just kind of looking out in the future. You see this, and I'm just saying she because it's she, right? But this could be anyone's energy. I do feel like we have somebody who's dealing with about in this instability or I hear a broken home. This feels like there is a broken relationship. There's somebody who's not. There's two people not happy. The three of swords, I don't feel like, even though we got two queens here, it does. It feels like the same person. This doesn't feel like a third party energy. What's happening though is we have the nine of pentacles, who's usually the most independent, got it all put together before we hit the 10 of pentacles was happy life, happy home, happy environment, right? This, this is knowing your worth, being happy with yourself, understanding, gorgeous, just loving everything about yourself. This is reversed. This has really slammed your self-esteem. You are questioning everything about your stability, about your confidence, about how this person perceives you, I'm hearing. You're really, you're really concerned about how this person perceives you. Um, you're at a standstill within this relationship. Now, usually Chariot's about moving forward, but it's also about relocating. I think some of you might actually be considering separating I'm hearing separation, but it's at a standstill. So I don't feel like this decision has been made yet. This is about being within the thing of deciding if, if this is really the case to go, or is it taking you great strength to be patient? Not just with this person, but this individual in the sense it's more your person, your personal space. Are you being patient with yourself? Let's see what the after terror says. The outcome cards. There we go. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune, and we got the Two of Swords, and we have the Higher Font. So this is definitely a relationship, okay? Wheel of Fortune. Moving forward. This was divine. This there's something being cleared here by the universe on both sides of this of this party okay with the two of swords libra gemini aquarius energy you could be or this you know someone could have the air quality but it's about having a crossroads right having a dual i'm hearing that you guys are duality like dueling over this thing and it, it's like not making a decision yet but knowing that things are coming out that might be egotistical on both sides okay um with the higher font, now the higher font could be some kind of counselor, advice, a mentor. It's definitely reflecting a relationship, but I'm hearing that some of you might actually be discussing with this individual counseling. Look, there's two here. There's a relationship here in, in, in effect. And if you're not getting counseling, you're getting counseling or a mentorship or support from somebody who is giving you advice, somebody who might, you know, might comfort you, support you, but this feels logical, almost the sense of not like emotional supportive, someone who gives you something more, okay? Not saying like coming on this channel, me being a mentor or light worker isn't this higher font, but it feels some someone more legal, like, right? Legalities or or giving you some kind of like logical advice. Hmm. All right, guys, this is your daily reading. If it resonated, go ahead and hit like, comment below, and I will see you next time. Take care.